happen, so. Okay, definitely spray that on my floor. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have my little minimalist perfume collection. I don't have too many, but what I have are staples and every scent is completely different. So I'm excited to show my collection to you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and let's just jump straight in. So I want to start with my nighttime fragrances, kind of going to my daytime fragrances. So the first fragrance on the list is by YSL and it's Black Opium. This is such a warm and sexy, modern, grown woman type of fragrance. This is definitely a nighttime fragrance. I wouldn't really wear it during the day just because it's strong but in a very feminine way. It's not too floral because I don't like my scents to be overly floral. I more so gravitate towards more woody, um, a little bit sweet. I really love sandalwood, vanilla, um, patchouli. I love those type of ingredients in my fragrance. And this one actually has coffee, which is what drew me to it because I'm not a coffee girl. Like you will never catch me drinking coffee, but I love the way that it smells. And this one has coffee, white flowers, and vanilla. YSL doesn't really go too deep into the notes. This is a beautiful fragrance to wear. Okay, for my next scent, this one's actually an Estee Lauder scent. And this is part of their Erin collection and it's called Amber Musk. It's a Eau de Parfum, so it's very long lasting. And this is my newest one. If you're in your 20s to early 30s, I feel like this is just the perfect fragrance. This fragrance can double for both a daytime and nighttime fragrance, but I would wear it during the nighttime or even for a late lunch. Um, it's just so warm and cozy but still like grown woman, which I really love about this fragrance. And as far as the notes, it has amber and creamy musk. It has rose, coconut water. So just the blend of all of those, I feel like really smells so nice. And they did a really good job with this perfume. And also the bottle is gorgeous. It has a stone at the top with the gold, um, trim or the gold cap and it's so pretty and i feel like i would love to just have this like sit on top of my dresser or i would just love to have this one out okay my next fragrance i actually forgot that i have this i haven't worn it in so long this is my very first perfume that i ever bought for myself and it's also discontinued but um it's tender romance by ralph lauren again very oxidized i've had this for years and I'm not letting it go. I'm finishing this bottle. So this is my very first perfume that I got for myself. So this one is another fragrance that I feel like can double for the day and the night, but I think I would lean more towards wearing it, like I said with the last one, late lunch, early dinner, just like a nice evening scent. So the top notes are pear, ginger, and bergamot. Middle notes are white magnolia, white ginger lily, and jasmine. The base notes are benzoin, cashmere wood, and musk. Such a beautiful scent. And the best way to describe this scent is that it's just invigorating. Like when you smell it, you get this sense of euphoria. It's almost like a bright scent. If brightness had a scent, I feel like it would be in this. It's very warm but bright. Like think of like a sunset. Warm, cozy atmosphere, but it's also very bright. And that's what this fragrance reminds me of. This kind of slightly, very slightly reminds me of YSL Libre. But um, yeah, Tender Romance, this is my baby. This is bringing back so many memories. For my next scent, I'm moving on to one from Dior and this is the Miss Dior Eau de Toilette. This is another one that can double for both the day and the night time. Honestly, I would wear it for either or. As for the notes, the top notes are Blood Orange and Mandarin. The heart notes are Lily of the Valley and Grass Rose. And the base note is Patchouli. This one 
is very, very feminine. Like extremely feminine, kind of powdery. I would say this is a fragrance for a girl in her late teens, early 20s is kind of the vibe that this one gives me. I'm not a super huge fan of the Dior fragrances only because they are very powdery on my skin and sometimes they can smell just a little bit too mature for the vibe that I'm going for but this one has a very youthful feminine fun scent um, it's very floral it's slightly sweet it has that brightness um, and that invigorating kind of aspect kind of similar to the tender romance from Ralph Lauren I have been using this fragrance I got a good amount down but um yeah this is one from dior that i actually really do like just because it fits pretty much any scenery i can wear it in the day i can wear it at night it's not too powdery so if those are the type of scents that you go for then i would definitely go smell this one and see if you like it okay next my favorite fragrance at the moment is one that i just got literally last week and um it's my First, Jo Malone perfume, and this is the Wood Sage and Sea Salt. So this is a true unisex fragrance. On me, it smells amazing. I've smelled it on a guy, and it smells amazing. Let's start with the notes, and then I'll give you my personal description or opinion of the fragrance. So the top notes are Ambre Seeds. Heart notes are Sea Salt, and the base note is Sea Age. Once I read the the name of this fragrance, I automatically knew I was gonna like it because I love the smell of sage. I love woody scents and sea salt just kind of gives me that nice beachy vibe. This one can double for daytime and nighttime. I honestly think you could wear it either time. It's such a nice scent. And what I love about this is it's so unique. The only scent that I've smelled that's even close to this one is Beach Walk from Replica by Mason Margiela. You definitely get that sea salt. Um, the sage isn't too overpowering. I don't think I can actually notice the sage too much, but what I get when I smell it is definitely that sea salt. If sea salt could be sexy, it would be this perfume. And I would say the best way to describe it is a calm, beachy, luxury scent. So I'm in love with this scent. I've been wearing this every day. It just smells so good. And then I also got one more from Jo Malone and this is completely out of my realm. I've never bought a scent like this and I'm actually gonna spray it just so I can give you guys an accurate description. Um, this one is the Blackberry and Bay, also from Jo Malone. This one, I would say this one is unisex as well, but I would say honestly leaning a little bit more towards the masculine side. In my opinion, I feel like it's a little bit more masculine than it is feminine, but I still really like it on me, which is why I bought it. The top note is blackberry, the heart note is bay leaves, and the base note is cedarwood. So I really love the combination of this, but what surprised me about this scent and the fact that I like it is that it's very citrusy if your man was doused in cologne but happened to walk through a field of oranges um this is what that scent would smell like in the best way i can describe it it smells manly but orangey at the same time i know the scent won't be for everyone because it is very citrusy i didn't even think i was gonna like it but it's actually very unique and i've been trying to get kind of out of my box when it comes to fragrances i just want to have different scents for different days and different moods and feels so i'm actually really loving this fragrance so if you like more citrusy um sophisticated scent then i would definitely give this one a try all right this next fragrance was actually a gift and it's definitely the most floral scent that i have and it's the um dot by mark jacobs this one is discontinued as well but the notes are top notes are red berries Ooh, i don't know how to say that word pizza haya and honeysuckle Middle notes are coconut, jasmine, and orange blossom, and the base notes are driftwood, musk, and vanilla. This one is very floral. Very, very, very floral. Um, I don't pick up the scent 
too much just because it's very floral and I usually shy away from floral scents just because they don't catch my attention I don't really gravitate towards them I like my scents to be more woody warm but this one is still a beautiful scent it's just not my go-to um, this one's definitely a daytime scent in my opinion so I like to wear this one when I'm running errands or if I'm going to maybe a brunch or maybe going to church it is just a very simple and subtle floral scent um, and also the bottle is so pretty it's such a beautiful bottle um, but yeah it's not my go-to but it is still a nice fragrance and I always appreciate my gifts so of course I'm gonna keep the fragrance so this is Dot by Marc Jacobs. And last but not least, this one isn't an actual fragrance, but it does have a scent to it. And this is the Shimmer Body Oil from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So the reason why I included this one in the video is because whenever you buy a body shimmer, it's usually included within the fragrance section. I've been looking for a body shimmer and this one just happened to be the best one that I found in my opinion. It's very glittery, super glittery, which I love. It sticks very well to your skin. Um, it does transfer, which is kind of like contradicting. Um, if you're not rubbing it, then it will stay on your skin because I know some body shimmers just they just fall off like it doesn't stick to the skin but this one actually sticks very well but if you rub it it will move and it will come off and transfer best way i can explain it this also has a very beautiful coconut vanilla scent it's very warm it's just a nice like if you think about a bath and body works vanilla coconut body spray that's what this smells like this one is cruelty free and vegan dermatology tested and non comedogenic so it won't break you out i've had zero issues with breakouts or acne while using this and it's infused with a blend of sweet almond oil and jojoba seed oil so very nurturing and moisturizing for the body but just really packs a punch and i'm actually gonna put some on so Okay, definitely spray that on my floor. Okay. So here it is, right here. You guys can see, and I'm just gonna... Rinse it out. Let me actually bring down the brightness a little bit. Okay, you guys can see it a little bit better now but it's very glittery, very shimmery. That's all that I have for you guys today. I need to go pick up that body shimmer that I just squirted across my floor. Hopefully it's not on my rug, but if it is, it is what it is. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave any fragrance suggestions down below. I want to know your thoughts and opinions. Let me know what you think about the options that I have. If you like them, if you hate them, I want to know. If you have any suggestions, please tell me because I'm always looking for a new fragrance. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one.